was <coughs> did um, you and the band's management and the band's attorneys ever discuss uh, the details of how you were going to change Steve Adler's status? To a certain extent, yes. Okay. What is the extent to which you participated in the discussion? What details were discussed in that Figuring out terms of probation. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Figuring out some of the terms of probation. Okay. I don't remember which things I agreed to or, or not, or even suggested, you know. Um, and that if he couldn't get off drugs, he was gone. discuss with any of the people you described what would happen if he didn't get off drugs and he was gone in terms of winding up his interest in the in the bank. No, as I stated in my deposition, I figure all of that would be negotiated at some point. Okay. So did you had you given any thought as of the time like that? You signed a, an agreement called the March 28th agreement, didn't you? Yes. Okay, and that's Exhibit 2. I think it's one of the documents before you. Do you need to look at it to, to know what I'm talking about? Or? I don't I can find it for you. <laughs> the document, uh, Exhibit 2. Yes. Okay, did you have ideas that you wanted in the document? sit down and read it through cover to cover? Depending on the document. Okay. Did you sit down and read Exhibit 2 cover to cover before you signed it? I don't remember. Okay. Did you ever uh, rely upon the advice of your managers or your lawyers as to what a document contained rather than sitting down and trying to analyze it yourself? Yes, there have been many times I've done that. Many times you what? Many times I've done that. Did you ever get together with other members of your band and ask questions of the managers or the or attorneys as to what the guts of the document was rather than analyze it yourself? Yes. Okay. Do you have any recollection of suggesting any language 
for Exhibit 2. Suggesting language? No. Okay. Did you... They would have probably turn my language out. Did, did you talk to Peter... Special, who were you talking to about the language of the agreement uh, as opposed to just the concept of putting Steve on probation? Join your own. Or it's a team. Did you talk to anybody about the language of the agreement as opposed to just putting Steve on probation? Well, that is part of the language of the agreement. Our question's confusing. Vague and ambiguous. Yes, it's compound. Okay. <coughs> was it your understanding that the document that was being drawn up was going to put Steve on some kind of a probation? Yes. What else did you understand that the document was going to do vis-a-vis -vis Steve? What point time? Before you sign, at any time before you sign. Please repeat the question. I want to know what else you thought that that document was going to do, what effect you thought it was going to have, other than the fact that it was going to place Steve on a probationary basis. What else did you think it was going to do? Well, if you didn't meet the requirements of the probation, that it was going to remove him from guns and roses. Okay. Did you think that the requirements of probation were going to be spelled out in the document? Like yeah. not using drugs or showing up to all rehearsals, that sort of thing? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Was it your understanding that drug, that agreement would say something about drugs and not using them? Yes. Was that, that your, was that your understanding when you signed the document? When you signed the document, did you believe the document contained something about drugs and not using them? I don't remember exactly, specifically, what I was thinking when I read the document when I did sign it. Did you read the document? Do you remember now that you did read the document? I know that I read it. What? I know that I read it. I don't remember necessarily what I thought while I was reading it. Did you ever have any conversations with anybody before March 28th about how you would go about buying out Steve or terminating his interest uh, and his relationship with the band if probation didn't work out. place Steve on probation, correct? Right? Yes. And that during that probationary period, he wouldn't have the status of partner anymore, correct? He'd just be an employee? Correct. You knew the agreement had a provision by which if he could satisfactorily satisfy the conditions of probation, that is, operate to your satisfaction, he could be reinstated as a partner, correct? Yes. Okay, now, you knew, however, that the possibility existed that he might not be able to get off drugs and that if he didn't, he was going to flunk out and he'd be gone, correct? Yes. Okay, now, did you sit down with anybody? Oh, I say sit down generically. Did you talk to anybody, either management or other band members or lawyers, about, look, what happens if he does flunk out and it ends? What are we going to owe this guy and uh, how are we going to pay? Well, you want to know, the questions compound. Managers and lawyers have uh, requested counsel. Well, Rural, you can uh, do that if, if any other <coughs> answer, the witness may answer.
until the document was produced, there were no conclusions made or you know, ideas set in place of how it was going to be. Okay. You say you know there are questions asked. Questions asked by who? Me. Yeah. What, what are we asking? You know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen if he doesn't make it? Did you yes. ask that? Okay. And of whom did you ask that question? Um, Alan Niven, Peter Paterno, okay. Doug Goldstein.